my god. I thought we had already the worst wind in the world, but no, this one here is the worst. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 267 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the small town of El Calafate in Argentina and we're staying in this little cabin where we've been for the past six days I think. Uh, trying to catch up with some editing. Yes, and unfortunately we still feel a little bit sick. We really try to recover and try to get healthy as much as we can, but it's not 100%, but we are ready to hit the road. And it's really crazy because this here is our rent for two days. <laughs> I mean, I want to throw it in the air. I don't do it, but... <laughs> It's <laughs> pretty crazy, eh? But let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are going to be making our way across to Glaciar Perito Moreno before coming back through El Carafate and up this road round to El Chalten. Yes, today we are heading to the star of this region, the whole reason that El Calafate is such a popular tourist town, it is for this glacier, Perito Moreno. I really can't wait to see it and it's already nine o'clock so better hit the road, let's go. Look, here's our little cabin. Yeah, that was actually really nice. Yeah, I mean you don't really need more than that. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. The battery again, hold on, sorry. Please just start this time, come on. Otherwise we have to turn it around and push it down the hill. <laughs> come on, you can hear it clicking. And if you go to the battery voltage, 11. I think it will start. Just give it a minute. Okay. So stand is definitely up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it in neutral perhaps. Okay. Ooh, come on. Yes! 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 Ah, oh, that's strange because it looked like it was something to do with the first gear, but you know, I have the stand up the whole time, so... Oh, okay. man! <laughs> yeah, I think when you leave it for five days or six days like that, yes. you know, without starting it, yeah. it can be a little bit dodgy. Heart attack in the morning! Uh, oh, I was excited to try out our first jump start. <laughs> Me not. <laughs> So it's about 50 miles to the glacier now, but it should be a quite nice ride because we will have a nice view of the Lake Argentino. Hopefully, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> and then hopefully a nice view of the glacier. Yes! Woohoo! Back on the bike! <laughs> what a view in the morning, hey? I just really love the colors. The colors of the lake, this really light, bright blue. Looks incredible. Yeah, it's stunning, stunning landscape. And look at these rock formations and this rocky cliff here. Beautiful. So we're just coming up to the entrance of the National Park, UNESCO World Heritage Site National Park. Cool. Because this glacier is inside a national park called Parque Nacional Los Glaciares. So like, basically the Glacier National Park. Gracias. 
going in. Woo! So we actually read online that it was 8,000 pesos for two tickets. So there's like 20 pounds a ticket. But uh, when we got to the entrance, apparently they've actually just increased their prices. So it was five and a half thousand pesos per person, which is about 27 pounds per person. Wow. So yeah, in total, it cost us Ooh. over 50 pounds to get in this national park. Yeah, it's not a cheap trip if you want to go around and see all these natural wonders. <laughs> but you know, you gotta do it. Oh, it's getting exciting now. The glacier is just on the other side of this headland here. So we should be getting some glacier views soon. <laughs> glacier, 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 glacier. Yeah, it's a pretty cool ride here as well, just along the lake. Yeah, and I looked on the map and actually this is the same lake uh, as on the other side of the headland. So it actually wraps around this bit of land and the entire lake is basically the meltwater of this massive glacier that we're about to see. Wow. So there's a lot of water going on here. <laughs> and did you know that 95% of all the Earth's fresh water is actually frozen? <laughs> Some info in the morning. Ooh! Wow! wow. <laughs> there we go, look at this. Wow! And it's so blue! Whoa, there we go. Oh, that is bright. That's crazy. The rest of it is very dark and grey, but the glacier is just like... Ah! Insane. Wow. Awesome. Let's ride a little bit closer, shall we? Wow, I never saw a glacier like that. Never, ever. So big. That's crazy. That's so impressive. Oh, we're coming up close now. Look at this. Wow. Nice. Wow, it looks unreal. Hola, buenas. Eh, todo bien. So we were hoping to do a kayaking trip up to the front of the glacier, uh, but we just messaged the operator on WhatsApp and they said that the weather today is not good. So actually they said that they're not running any kayak trips today. Unfortunately not. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool because this guy, he just opened and we were like, oh, are you selling uh, boat tours today? And he's like, yes, yes. The next one is in 20 minutes. And we were like, okay, we take this one. Look at this crazy iceberg in the middle of the lake. Uh -huh. Wow. Boat trip, boat trip, boat trip. Woo! Okay, we've had our safety briefing and now they said we could go up to the upper deck and have a look. Wow, look at those floating icebergs. How magical, hey, how magical.
Here you can see all the massive, massive chunks of ice that have fallen off the glacier. But actually it's really interesting because this glacier hasn't really changed in size for like a hundred years. So like most glaciers have been retreating and retreating. This one was actually advancing and it's pretty much where it was about a hundred years ago. And the ice here is actually flowing down from up on the Patagonia ice field, which is up in the mountains, and it's flowing at around two meters a day, which is insane. This glacier is massive. So at the front of the glacier here, it, the height ranges from around 70 meters to 40 meters. So I think the bit right in front of us here is 70 meters high. That's a huge, huge wall of ice. But further up in the Patagonia ice field, the glacier is apparently something like 700 meters deep, which is just a lot of ice. Wow, when you see the boats in front of the glacier, like another tourist boat, you can really see like how massive this thing is. It's really hard to get a sense of perspective, but I mean, it is huge. Bye bye, most beautiful glacier in the world. What an incredible experience, hey? It's the best, absolutely the best. I think that's a really good way to see the glacier. There are um, trails you can do, hiking trails, and see the glacier from the land here. But I mean, you can't get much better than getting on a boat and getting up close and personal to it. That's incredible. Yes, I think so too. So now we're gonna make our way back over to El Calafate. We're gonna grab some empanadas in town. Woo! And then we'll hit the road north. Oh no, the empanada place is closed. Oh, boo. We'll have to find another option for lunch. Yes, we found a solution for lunch. It's not empanadas, but it is a nice vegetarian burger and fries. So that'll do. That was such a nice veggie burger. Good on you, YPF petrol station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you can't find something in town, you can always rely on going to a petrol station, eh? <laughs> yes. So the bike is fueled up, we're all fueled up. And now we have 130 miles to ride, basically around Lake Argentino and over to El Chalten. Yes, I'm super excited. I checked some room, rooms um, on Airbnb and booking.com and they are so super expensive. So it must be a very, very, very nice town. <laughs> well, as El Calafate is famous for the Perito Moreno Glacier, El Chalten is famous for Mount Fitzroy, a pretty epic peak. And the town is like right next to it, so it's going to be really, really nice. Yeah, our navigator says it takes about two and a half hours. It's already 3.40. Whew. Yeah. We'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, El Calafate. Bye bye. It was a really nice day.
You're an epic little place with a massive glacier. Okay, it is actually bordering on dangerously windy out here. Yeah, I mean, that's really not funny how windy it is. I don't know if I've ever seen the bike at this angle before on the road. Yeah. <laughs> like, the amount of lean I have to do to push back against it is ridiculous. Wow. If we had a lighter bike, I'm pretty sure we'd be just blown off the road. Oh my god. I thought we had already the worst wind in the world, but no, this one here is the worst. And I'm only going 45. Wow. It feels like I'm doing 100. Wow, look at this lake here, or the river. That is a very, very blue river. Wow. Oh, I didn't realize we're actually going over it. Cool. Look at this color. Wow, this must be a river coming out from Lake Argentino. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wow, it's amazing when you have the wind behind you. <laughs> oh, you can't even feel it anymore. Oh, man why it can't be behind all the time wow look at this river amazing wow that's so beautiful and no wind <laughs> Jesus. Oh. okay this is going to be a tough 100 miles yeah oh man it looks very dark up ahead as well yeah and the atmosphere is hazy from all this sand, from all the dunes and everything being swept up in the air. This is like the Sahara all over again. The wind is hitting us like 90 degrees. Pam! It's not the peaceful ride I was imagining. <laughs> But there is one good thing, and that is when we were riding the Sahara, the wind was coming from the other side, so that was wearing the that side of our tyre. And now the wind is coming from this side, it's actually wearing the opposite side of our tyre. So Perfect. it worked out really well actually. <laughs> because of the twisting and turning of the roads first the wind's coming from one direction then the next then here then there and we're just being blown all over the road wow it's still so windy i can't believe it <laughs> i cannot believe this place i thought the east coast was bad but i think the west coast is even the worst Yeah, I think so, yeah. 
All right, let me just have a look. Yeah, okay, looks fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at this place. Toilet. Yeah. Is this one like a little dog or something? I don't know if it's a dog. That's definitely some human excrement in here. It's basically an abandoned toilet block, right? But people are still using it as a toilet block. It's so incredibly windy around here as well. Literally, this is the only place where you could pitch up a tent, and even here with this kind of little wind protection yeah. is not really ideal yeah. wow it's so windy here but have a look over here it's pretty cool views okay so after a bit of deliberation we've decided that it is just too windy too rocky too exposed to camp there and uh, as Levy said before camping in El Chalten is prohibited like wild camping so it looks like our only option is to go to a paid camping in town oh be careful here Oli yeah hold on yeah 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 okay hold on a second okay so look both ways yeah try, try and get straight hold on okay Okay. Ooh. Just super windy. Yeah. Wow. That's not the easiest task. At least the paid camping in town is a little bit cheaper than the rooms in town. Apparently we saw one on Iovalanda, which is only 2,000 pesos per person per night, which would only be like 10 pounds each, which is not too bad. But anyway, it's basically between that and having the windiest night of our entire lives. Wow, what a place! Yeah, finally coming into El Chalten. This cute little town nestled inside these hills in the Los Glaciers National Park. Wow. Awesome. Oh wait, this is the petrol station here. This is a petrol station? Yeah, go on there. What? I think so, yeah, YPF. <laughs> This is like the craziest petrol station I've ever seen. Look at this. Yeah, totally. I hope they have some petrol here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Huh. That is a remote petrol, ta petrol station. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they sort of brought it here in a truck. Yeah. Hola. Hola. <laughs> que tal? Well, we were incredibly close to running out of fuel. I think the uh, bike estimated we had less than 30. Frio, frio, oh, oh. frio. <laughs> Mucho. Oh. Viendo, viendo. Crazy, loco, loco. Viendo. <laughs> With a moto. <laughs> Monte Fitzroy. Is that. Uh, he... uh, <laughs> we can see nothing. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ciao, ciao. Okay. Well, that was nearly the full, full tank that we just filled up then. Wow. I underestimated how much the wind would affect our uh, mileage. Yeah, totally. Because we filled up and then we only did 130 miles and that wow. literally drained nearly the whole tank. Insane, really insane. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful. It's totally beautiful. It might be windy and it might be raining, but I can appreciate this location. Okay, yeah, over the bridge here. Cool. Rio Fitzroy. Oh, cool. And now you're sort of going to the uh, left. Roundabout and then left. Yeah. Bienvenidos El Chalten. Awesome. Wow, what a town. Looks epic, man. And then in 600 feet, you turn to the right. 600 feet? Yeah. You got a feet set up on there. Apparently. Okay. I've forgotten how much a feet foot is. I don't, here? I don't know, no, not, apparently not here. Okay. Apparently, 
the next one. Okay, whoa, look at this cliff wall wow. ahead. <laughs> wow. It's absolutely crazy, man. That is an absolutely insane cliff. Apparently it's here. Like this place here? Yeah. Okay. El Padrion, yeah? I think so. Okay. Let me check again on our overlander. You don't need to because there are tents here. So yes, they have space for us here. They said we can pitch our tent somewhere around here. Perfect. So they said basically anywhere from this pole this way. So basically we could just pick in this little spot here in front. You can see how many tents there are here. Look at this. Crazy. Good evening guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Woo! <laughs> and it's even windy here in the camp. Can you wow. believe it? But look at the view in front of us. We are next to some major cliffs. Wow, epic, epic. What a day from a massive glacier to a windy, windy, windy road. Yeah. Like the windiest ride of our lives. That oh was God. bordering on dangerous. I was being... Wow, wow. Man, that was crazy. Yeah, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> but the forecast looks better tomorrow than today. So fingers crossed we can get some nice mountain views tomorrow. So that's it from us today. We did at the end 280 miles, which is about 370 kilometers. And we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.